You guys want to go ahead and see my from the Galaxy Bros. video, giving you a video, and with Pokemon Sun and Moon coming even closer, I actually thought it was a pretty good idea to count down my top, my top team that I'll probably be using when the game comes out. Now just be aware that this team will not only include Alolan, Alola, Alohan, Alolan, uh, Pokemon, it will be including, you know, one or two, you know, normal original 151 or, uh, Generation 1 on, so, yeah, um, yeah, so that's, this is gonna be my team, so I hope you guys all enjoy. Now the first Pokemon I picked for my top team is Ninetales. Ninetales is just a really cool majestic Pokemon, and the fact that it's, like, ice now is just so cool. Also, I like, I was always a fan of Ninetales and Vulpix both. And the fact that they made it an ice type is even better. I also like how majestic it is, and uh, the fact that they gave him a new ability and everything, and it will kind of be different evolving him now. The next fifth Pokemon I picked, I'm going down from six to four from the first, will be a Lucky. Now I really like a Lucky just because it's always been my personal favorite. Back in third grade when Pokemon was actually the really cool thing. A Lucky was the only Pokemon I actually knew, and the fact that everyone was like, oh, what's your favorite Pokemon? The only thing I answered was a Lucky. It kind of grew on me since I've been looking at, you know, recent photos, and the fact that, you know, its evolved forms are even cooler. So, although, you know, this isn't a low end Pokemon, it, it, it's going to be on my team for sure, but it's because it's one of my favorites from Gen 2, and, you know, on. So, yeah, that's my second. My fourth Pokemon is going to be Decidueye. I think that's how you say it. Anyway, this Pokemon is like an uh, arrow Pokemon, and I really think it's cool since it's one of the best starters out there. I've also been a really big fan of the plant, the grass starters, so this will just be a really cool thing. Also, the fact that, you know, it has this really cool ability called Spirit Shackle, where they can't, like, switch out. It's just really cool. Also, you know, although I've also been, like, a Rowlet fan since day one and a gra the grass starter fan, so this is one of the Pokemon that you will probably see on my team. Um, it's really cool, and I think it's just awesome how it shoots arrows off of its wings. The third Pokemon out of the six that I will choose for my team will be Lycanroc Midnight Form. Now it may be Lycanroc or Lycanroc maybe, I don't really know, but Lycanroc is what I'm going with because it sounds the coolest. I really like the Midnight Form a lot better than the Midday Form, just because the Midday Form looks all scrawny and weak and all for fast, and the Midnight Form just looks really cool and buff. And I really like what they did, they made him kind of like a werewolf, so it reminds me of, you know, Sonic the Hedgehog, like, uh, from Sonic Unleashed, so that's just another, that's just another bonus. Also, I really like how they gave them, uh, Sun and Moon, because I'm a Moon Kid, okay, I'm choosing Pokemon Moon, I already pre-ordered it, I'm all set, so this one will definitely be on my team, just of how awesome it is. Now, it kind of does look a little bit weird, because it's slanting, and it kind of looks like a little bit, you know, dead. But at the same time, I kind of rather have this one than the midday form. The midday form is kind of dry. And, uh, you know, they already traded off with the really cool Pashimian uh, Pokemon. So, you know, that's, a, that's always a bonus. So, yeah, this is, will be one of them that will be on my team. The second out of the six is going to be Silvalli. Now, Silvalli is one of those Pokemon that, you know, it has a backstory and a mystery behind it. And you, it's going to be hard trying to tell what it actually is. So all I really got from it is, you know, the little thing on uh, Savali's uh, thing on the website, Synthetic Pokemon. So, you know, obviously for me, this is like, oh, so he's going to be a made Pokemon. It also kind of explains why he has bug arms, amphibian, like, tail, and then, I don't, I think that's a dark type legs, I don't know, and then maybe, you know, steel type head, something like that. But the fact that it has this new ability called the RKS system, is it able to change its ability if, I mean, change its type typing if, you know, it holds a certain disc, which is just awesome. It reminds me of, like, a mini Arceus. Now, if it evolves, if it evolves further, then I'll be hyped. If it doesn't, then I'll still be hyped. This is going to be one of my Pokemon that I will use because it just, it's just so cool. Now, the final one out of the six is going to be Wishy Washy. So, Wishy Washy is a really, really cool Pokemon. He's going to be the brawn of all, he's gonna be Brawn on my team because he's gonna be really strong. He's actually stronger than Gyarados, so you know that's that's a that's a big plus. And I, I yeah, he just looks really really cool. The fact that he has the move, move called Schooling or whatever, whatever you know, s s the wishy washy small fry form, whatever. He has this new move that gathers all of his little friends and become like a humongous fish beast. So 
I really like it. It'll definitely be the brawn. But I have a feeling that in this game, it's going to be kind of hard to catch one. That's kind of the down part of this. And I also think that it's going to have a backstory to the point, like Sylvalai, where I can't catch it. It's just going to be like, or I can't catch it, but it's not going to be like in the beginning. It's just going to take a while. So either way, you know, I really like this Pokemon. And yeah, that concludes my top six Pokemon team.